Hey guys, I found a cool way to fit a blue snowball into a regular shock mount. Alright, so guys, as you can see, this blue snowball is resting inside the shock mount. If you uh, move the pop filter, you can see it a little better actually. So yeah, I can move this around, just like a regular shock mount. So, I'm going to show you how. So I take this off the arm here. Actually, let me unplug it first. That would be good. Alright, so here you see we have the mic stand, which is over here. And then we have the blue snowball, and then the shock mount here. The shock mount actually came with this mic stand, which is pretty cool. So it's just the shock mount that came with this mic stand. I'll link this mic stand down in the description if any of you are interested in it. And so now you have the blue snowball and the shock mount. So all this is actually is the stand that came with the blue snowball. It actually fits perfectly inside the shock mount here. So as you can see, all you have to do is like squeeze the clips here and put it in. And I took the feet off. It's pretty easy. All you have to do to take the feet off is just unscrew this bottom part here. There's one screw on the bottom. It should work with the ice mic stand too, I assume. I don't know. I, don't, I can't test it. Anyway. One screw pops out, it pops off of the base here. So put this to the side for a second. And then you have this little thing that you kind of have to pry apart. Comes open. Not that hard actually. There's a little pin on the side that's stuck in the other part. And then this comes off, and then you can just pull the legs off and put this little metal piece back in here. So that's pretty much it. Take the legs out, screw it back up. Uh, make sure you have the rest of the stand it screws into. There's also a little notch right here. They need to line up with the little notch inside here. Should fit in pretty well. And then you just finish tightening it up. Make sure it's pretty tight so it doesn't move around. So now you should have your blue snowball mic stand blue snowball itself and the legs removed. So next step is you can line the logo up, doesn't really matter. I like to just for OCDness. But anyway here. See there? And you take your shock mount. Uh, anyone around this size I guess will work. This is the one that came with the mic stand. So yeah, let me just like squeeze it in there. It fits really snugly, but that's good because you don't want it to fall out. And here you go. That is how you fit a blue snowball into a shock mount. Now you can just screw it onto your mic stand, whatever you have that you want to screw it onto. Oh, you may also need a adapter to fit it onto the mic stand. It should come with it, at least with this one it did. So that's about it for fitting the blue snowball onto a shock mount. And then you have it plugged in the back, going through the middle of the mic stand. 
In order to fit the wire through the middle of the mic stand, you have to take off these screws here. So I'll start from the bottom and then work your way closer to the end of it. So take off like this screw and this screw and then like fit the cable in between and then do the same for here. And then you have a nice seamless cable going through your mic stand into your blue snowball on your shock mount thing. So this is how you put your blue snowball onto a regular shock mount.